Huh? Hmm. What's up, guys? Ike here, and uh, don't mind the journey skin. I just really didn't feel like changing skins back and forth on the job edition, on the bedrock edition, I mean. So what we've got for you today is the villager powered and old farm. This thing is incredible, and it's crazy. And I don't know who gave this villager so many, so many cans of monster today, but he is just busy, busy, busy. Anyways, if we just turn this thing off and we'd run around to the back to the collection area and have a look at what's going on. We are just piling in with the potatoes, guys. And so basically, I put out a version of this for the Java edition, and now I wanted to put out a version for you guys here on the Bedrock edition. This is the farm right here, and it's stripped it down version. Pretty compact. I don't think you're going to make it any more compact than this. And I don't, it's, you're not going to make it any faster because if you make it faster, then the villager will quit working. Um, but, anyways, so let's talk about how this thing works. Obviously, our lever uh, extends the observer block so the clocks stop working on both sides. And the mechanic that is involved here with the villager running back and forth is because he can't plant props on a block he's standing on. He actually has to be on the next block to plant. Unlike Java, where he can plant where he's standing, uh, he can't plant on that block. And uh, also, another interesting fact that I found out about villagers in Bedrock is they only have one inventory slot. They can only hold 64 items. Um, so we have to uh, we have to do a bit of trickery here, and we also have to uh, occasionally empty out his inventory uh, with another villager, and we also have to have some trickery to keep his inventory full. So it's it's a matter of giving uh, letting him pick up more potatoes than he needs, so that he'll eventually empty them out as he goes. And uh, so let's get on to how to build this thing. And, uh, yeah, so here's the items that you're going to need. Let's turn off this ticking contraption right here. And as you can see before we go over here, that that light actually means the farm is on. This is the items that you're going, this is the items that you're going to need for this up here in the top part. And these are some extra items to do the building if necessary. This is a little over-exaggerated on some things. You may not need 64 of this or that but these are pretty precise on the other end and if I did happen to forget something we will bring it up in the tutorial you can run and grab it and uh, get started on your build so the first thing that we're going to want to do is get the items out so that we can use them <laughs> GG Ike G. let's leave these in there for now so we don't get confused so the first thing that we're going to want to do we're gonna want to place a chest just like this and get out our hoppers and we're gonna put hopper hopper one two three. uh no no three <laughs> and there so basically you're gonna have this p-shape just like that all right guys now that you have this p-shape right here you're gonna place a rail there and a rail here and you're gonna take some temporary blocks place two up like that and then a block this is a block of dirt that you're actually going to need in the farm you can go ahead and place your one hopper mine cart right there go ahead and break that rail out put the put one of the pistons from your uh, from the materials you need for the farm and place it just like this go ahead and remove the piston before you remove the power because you're going to need that uh yep and if you'll take a, you know your block of choice here it can be any block but I'm using the stripped oak I'm gonna go ahead and place one just like that one here just like that and break that out and then do a strip all the way across go ahead and place your other dirt that you need right here and your other hopper mine cart right there you're gonna leave this rail in um, leave this rail in there you're gonna go ahead and place a, uh, a block of choice right there it's gonna hold that hopper mine card in there and uh, we can actually place you know any block we want to right there we go ahead and place uh, a set of temporary blocks along here 
and we're going to take our dispenser and place it there and our one of our droppers and we're going to place the dropper facing into the dispenser and the same thing goes for right here and guys it might even be easier to place the dropper first dropper dispenser just like that and you can go ahead and get rid of these underneath uh because you yep now if uh if you will you go ahead and take and place a block just like that and then you can place two up right there um now I want to use spruce wood for this, so I'm going to take a panel up the middle, just like that. And we're going to come up the middle right here, up that height right there. One, two, three, four. Make that all even, just like that. Then you're going to remove this block. You're going to take your sticky pistons and put one here and one right there. Go ahead and dig out down here a couple blocks. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place an observer just like that. And if you'll come back out, you'll want to place another observer just like that. You should hear them ticking. You can then go ahead and replace your dirt underneath. Do the same thing on this side. Face that down. Face that down. That down. Go ahead and replace the dirt. Now, while this is driving us mad, let's go ahead and place this. And there was an item that I forgot, and I do apologize, guys, but it's a simple item. It is a lever. Need a lever. Place the lever there. Bam, the madness should stop, um, at least on that one side. Oh, no. Not do that. Place our... Um, Spears just like this, and that should extend both pistons um, fairly close to the same amount of time. Uh, if we go ahead now, this is a good time to go ahead and grab our glass out, and we're going to put glass around this, and this is going to be what holds our water in to keep our, our crops or our dirt saturated, and uh, yeah, now we can, we can crop, we can... Uh, Hoe that one and go ahead and get one seed planted there. Uh, we can actually even do that here too as well. What we're going to do is go ahead and just block off this right here from... Yeah, go ahead and block this off from anything out. Then you're going to come up an extra block and we're just going to build this chamber. It doesn't really matter what you build it out of. Block uh, just you know, a junk block. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we get a farmer villager in here. So, if you're not a farmer, goodbye. 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 <laughs> Come on. Uh, baby farmer, you're going to do for now. Okay, bud. Okay. So, considering we have a baby farmer, we're going to head and put that in there. So he can't get out. And we're going to let him grow up for now. Alright, okay, back here. We've got a adult villager in there now. And what we're going to do is actually throw him our crop of choice. And an adult farmer, I mean, we're going to let him drop on down to the bottom. Should, uh, ooh, please, no. Okay. <laughs> now that he's good and mad is get him you hopping mad why are you mad i know i punched you get over it okay you're gonna go ahead he's oh man i'm breaking stuff um yeah we're gonna go ahead we need to replace that um spencer there really quickly <laughs> and there we go Okay, last back. My bad, guys. My bad. I know I'm not the day for uh, being smooth. Okay, put that back. All right, we're gonna. All right, 
Where are we at now? We're at, we're at, we need a villager right here. So that's why we put the glowstone on top of his head. So we need to actually go ahead and fill these sides in. So we can go ahead and let him loose there. So he should be able to roam freely. Um, we need to then actually place a stair. Let's come back to that part. We need to go ahead and put our uh, chest in, get those out of the way. Um, just like this. Those go into the droppers so that we can load them with bone meal. And what we're going to want to do now is take a spruce stair. Or any stair for that matter. And we're going to want to place it just like that so that when we come in here, if we need to access the chest from underneath, we can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build up like this and I end up putting a glowstone over top of this villager's head. It doesn't really matter what this villager is so long as he is there. So this glowstone on his head is going to make sure that he doesn't get out. All right, because we're going to end up removing that block just like that. So we should be looking something like this at this point. Um, this farm is 100% is functional now. Uh, you just need to add your bone mill in. And so I'll let you guys do that. Your bone mill will go in both sides evenly. Let me go ahead and put a little bit in myself. Put what I can up for each. Four, five, put five in this one here. And we'll go ahead and give it a test. Should be working. Villager has a slight little bit of a cooldown between running and starting and stopping, but that's okay. Um, it will shortly take off and start running. And if I'm not mistaken, we should already have some carrots in there. Absolutely. Stacking seven. That is amazing how quickly this farm works, guys. All right, so what we're going to want to do now is just, this is just, you know, if you want to, you're going to place uh, redstone dust on there. Uh, you need a block here, block there, and just for symmetry, place one there. Uh, take your final repeater, put it here, leave it on standard ticks, and just like this, you're going to add covering over your glass, and put your redstone lamp right there in the middle. Place a block up just like that. And you're going to take your final redstone torch, place it right there. That way when the farm's on, this will be running really quickly, but the light will stay on like that. Super easy and simple. Now, if we're going to move on to the decorating, yes, let's go ahead and bring these blocks out. Place that on that redstone if we can. It's going to come out by two, just like this. And then we're going to need to bring up. Uh, another set over there, and then you're going to want to bring up another set over here. Bringing these out all the way, just like so. All right, you're going to want to place your, place your logs up on this side. Just, just three, actually. Uh, your spruce stairs. I did get that out already, didn't I? Guys, like I said... At this point, we're already done with the redstone, so if you don't want to design this uh, in this manner, then you click off the video. But if you if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the content of the redstone build, I'd appreciate if you hung around for the watch time. But that's all I will mention of that. So let's go ahead and get our spruce slabs out now. Our spruce slabs are going to go across like this all the way to the end. and they're going to come out all the way to the fence post all the way around all right then you're going to go ahead and place another set of slabs here so technically that could be a full block if you want it to be you're going to take your spruce stairs just like this you're going to place them across and uh, you're going to go ahead and fill up everywhere 
um, along the side of stairs all the way to the top here just like so it's that one down there temporarily place it against that so we're going to come out by three blocks down here one two place our spruce log all the way to the top of that stair and uh, we're going to repeat that same thing over here all the way to the top of this all the way to the top of that one should be there this one should be there as well and okay so now what we're going to do is we need our cobblestone stairs so we're going to place these upright just like that all the way along the bottom edge just like so place our stripped spruce again there and where our strip spruce can go all the way to the top just like so and then we will do a a little design with our spruce stairs just like this all the way to the top just to give a little depth and appeal to the side of the building flip around over here and do the same thing here just like so and again stripped log across like that up with this this log should be well up with the stair stripped log to the top and all right let's come around to the back we're going to do the same thing with the cobblestone just like so i'm going to leave that one and uh if we'll Take. You can actually put a full cobblestone block there if you like, but I didn't have one, so we're just going to use the stair backwards. Take our stripped log, just like so. Break that one back out. That one can be replaced with a strip log, and actually, just for the looks, we can do a do a uh, window there. I can't remember exactly what I did over here. Yeah, it's just all stripped oak, okay. Make that one face downwards. Bring this all the way up to the top. Or actually, bring it up to here. Going off what I built before, and then we're just gonna bring all of these here and here, and if my phone doesn't stop going off, I'm gonna frustrated. Uh, all the way to the top here. Okay, so that part of it, we're good, and what we need now is we need to take a block out just like this, along and all the way around, just like so. Our fence post can go up here. Excuse me, there we go up right here, across and down and up. Cross, up, cross to there, and up. Let me just double check that that's correct. It should be, absolutely. Now we need our dark oak materials. Take our dark oak all the way across, just like so, and we're going to come up by two. Place the one of the stairs right there. Here, come up again by two. But actually, it would be three. Two above the the actual stair. So stair block row, and then there you have it. There is your... Ah, oh, maybe it's not. No, it's, it's just two. It's not the it's not the extra one. It's the, just the two. It'll look just like that. So there you have the front and the sides and the back. And then all I did with this part here was I used oak. Uh, because oak would have been... Being that this was underneath a roof, might have looked less weathered. I don't know. You could use uh, any block you chose. 
but basically we're just cover all this up by two like so break that out and we're gonna then gonna just come across yeah now we can put a roof on here actually built this one block a little higher than the other but it's okay uh yeah i believe i did i did yeah because the stairs would actually go here so let's let's just do that right here yeah, that's right here this is, all this is for is it this is a little afk nook for you to uh, to actually go AFK while your farm is running, safe and sound, then yeah, a little half slab like that. Bring that out, and if you like, you can place that there. Yourself a little window, extra stairs out like so. And then take your half slabs like this and all the way and out the front as well. Nice little AFK nook here. Fancy. Put an upside down stair right there and that'll make even. Fact. let's put that up by one kind of like that and yeah there you have it guys as far as that goes and what i recommend for the inside here is just to fill in every block that you can um take carpet whichever color you like today yellow but let's do blue and uh, if you hold shift, you can place carpet on top of the repeater and then on that. And then you have a fancy, uh, a fancy little place to AFK that mobs will not spawn. Grab yourself a door, I'll plop you a door down, and there you go, guys. There is your carrot and potato powered, or carrot potato villager powered nano farm. I hope you did enjoy. Guys, if you did, what did I do? I broke blocks. I broke the blocks. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. And uh, if you got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will take those and try to answer them. This has been IKEA bringing you ideas and tutorials to help you survive and thrive in Minecraft. Until next time, bye-bye.